<laughs> hey everybody welcome back uh we are here in brookline massachusetts today we're going to be heading inside in a few minutes to a japanese store that has a whole bluefin tuna from japan that they're going to be carving up in what they're calling a tuna cutting show so <laughs> Hopefully that'll be uh, really interesting to watch and um, we'll pick up a few slices of sashimi to taste. So, see you inside. everyone we are you guessed it Cory Hill Park today for a really exciting treat for you uh, fresh whole bluefin tuna cut sashimi from Brook Lions Maruichi did I say that right Maruichi Maruichi Select and they have actually a new grocery store right across the street in Coolidge Corner in Brookline right on Harvard Street so come join us for a little bit of more lean and slightly fatty tuna today so come join us all right it's gonna be good there we go that's a good amount it's a significant portion all right so here we go a little bit of our special sashimi soy sauce that we also picked up at the store it came in a little carton i just had to get it it is recommended for sashimi and wasabi in case we need it as well but first let's just give it a taste with just nothing. the fish on its own just nothing all right so remind me again what is the this was what the was this? Han Maguro, Han Maguro, also known as akami the red red tuna wow mm. this one even has like a slightly fatty glossy look to it but this is just so fresh mm. Mm. It's really silky. Sometimes tuna sashimi isn't my first go-to because it sometimes has a little bit of a metallic taste to it, but this is really smooth. You do definitely still know it's tuna, but really, I would say just really silky, really delicate. Let me try just a plain piece here. Ooh, it's very soft. It looks almost like red meat slightly. Look, my eyes are really pointing. really soft. Carpaccio has no odor at all. It's really clean. Mm. No, it's really clean. You do taste the tuna, mm. but it's fresh. It's so fresh. It just dissolves in your mouth. It's so soft. Yeah, I can tender. see that glossiness. Mmm. Oh. And that's not, that's even, that's a leaner one. It's meaty in a good way. Mm. Oh, that's remarkable. I mean, this tuna came from Japan just yesterday. According to what they oh, said at, um, at the store, uh, it, the, the guy that carved it up came with the fish. I really rarely order bluefin tuna because it's so expensive and I just don't feel like I would appreciate it uh, for what it's worth. Yeah, little cute little carton of soy sauce, poured it super dark you can smell it from sitting right back here okay dab of soy let's see how it changes mmm completely different experience mm. oh, that's a nice piece i just felt like i was sitting at a sushi bar it just immediately transported me maybe this is what they use at the sushi restaurants like eric surf six always says Wasabi. <laughs> Did I show you the show you? Mind if I show you the show you? <laughs> Alright. Mmm. <laughs> Isn't that good? Oh my god, that just 
enhanced it. I know. So much. <laughs> Holy crap. Kamada soy sauce. <laughs> That's really Coach good. Coach Corner, Brookline Japanese e Market. Excellent soy sauce. <laughs> subtle it's it's i mean you taste the soy it's not salty it's not too strong it's only like six bucks and um wow what it did to that sashimi was just amazing incredible <laughs> absolutely incredible i'm gonna start using that when i get take out sushi instead of what they give me instead of the little foil pack all right let's try a little bit with wasabi wasabi this wasabi looks a little creamy all right maybe a little bit more here now is this real wasabi or is this like the, what is the this? fake stuff see what the ingredients mm -hmm. uh, which are in Japanese of course mm. um. it's good <laughs> definitely prefer it with just the soy I'll have to come back to you with a translation <laughs> but you know gives it that typical wasabi it's definitely I don't know it's creamier than what you normally get at a restaurant mm. it just almost like a pesto kind of it All just right. blends in nicely give that a, a try. I'll try it both after there we go, with the wasabi. Mm. It's nice, it's mellow. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it has a very sharp bite to it. Yeah, it's nice. All right, I just can't, can't get over this. Show you soy, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Just fabulous. Mm. Mm. Just another level. Even if you don't like tuna, get a little bit of this. You're in, another, you're in another place. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sushi is my all-time favorite. I can't believe we went this long without doing sushi. I will normally eat sushi once a week. I have eaten sushi. I remember my first memory of eating sushi was tuna, actually. A little teka, tekamaki roll at Sushi Co. on Long Island. Shout out if you still exist. But I got a little, one of those little wooden table things full of six little pieces of maki for me. I think I was in fourth grade and my life was changed and just cannot wait to, once all this travel stuff stops, I cannot wait to get over to Japan. It is number one on my list and I will be enjoying this with a little bit of shoyu. Here we go everybody. This Yay. is the bluefin, oh, look at that, there's oh, no. a, a special, look at that sunlight. <laughs> Bluefin Chutoro. <laughs> so again, this portion uh, looks about maybe, if it was restaurant size sashimi pieces, maybe six to eight pieces. It costs fourteen dollars, which is a bargain. It's like it a, a buck bargain. fifty a piece. Something and it's like delicious. That. Well, actually, we don't know what this tastes like yet, but we'll see. So, <laughs> okay. Please, Dozo. please and thank you. You take the first bite this time. All right. You do the honors. You're excited about this. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's so soft. And Beanie. you can feel the, the oils kind of just dripping off of it as my body temperature. And it's kind of cold out today. It's what, like 50, 50. degrees? <laughs> there we go. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I'm or not? It to get some flavor. There's a lot of flavor in it. Okay, there is a lot of flavor. It has, um, it's not fishy again, but it has a lot more oily texture. Mm. And it's more, what's the word I could use to describe it? Avocado? <laughs> like a mango. Oh, mango. <laughs> uh, has kind of that. What keep saying this? I don't know. Uh, well, you'll have to taste it. Okay. All right. I feel like this one is less tender than the last one. Maybe that's just a piece that I had. Uh, this has a little bit more of the the fibery bits in it because it was cut from closer to the belly. Yeah. This Try one I'm actually the... getting a little bit more of the metallic taste. And it's a different flavor altogether. I think I'm ready to go in for the soy on this one already. There's like a... I don't think it's like a citrusness. That's I'm... what I was saying. Like yeah. that mango kind of... There, there, there's this... And a plant kind of plant based <laughs> plant fruit kind of flavor. I don't know how to describe Is this it. Plant based. All right. Let's see if this soy this soy has enough magic like the last time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, in a way, I mean, I, I actually really dunked it in the soy. It's like in a way, I'm just like tasting the soy sauce, like a little bit of the tuna. It really helps. And I'm still getting a little bit of that metallic cut to it. I think that's part of the, the flavor of this particular cut. 
Let me just taste it with the soy myself. Oh, the matcha cuts it nicely too. Here we go. I like how the soy brings a little sweetness to it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it helps to level it out because that this is a def, definitely a different flavor compared yeah. to the red tuna it is a, a lot there there is a lot more going on just a lot more variety huh, texturally yeah. too it's, it's definitely different mm -hmm. it's a, it's it, it's still soft and it's mm, just greasy falls apart in your mouth but there is some differences in the texture too. So there are some stringier bits and yeah, there's some, maybe that's there's some chewier, fibrous, yeah. yeah, there's some chewier parts to it. And that when you chew on it, it brings out even more flavors. It does so, have a rare meat, rare meat look to it too. Mm. It's probably on its own. Luxurious. It doesn't give you that immediate punch to the sinuses. You can tell it's really high quality. A little bit more fish, please. Yes. Mm, yeah, it's really good. This one's bathing in the shoyu. Show you. Yeah, this one's interestingly cut. Mm. Forgive, like, forgive my sashimi chef skills. It was like marinating. <laughs> it got much more tender. It was like marinating in that. I want to give it a good dose of this. Yeah. Marinate it. Highly recommend. There we go. It's just fun to open it and close that little the little carton. <laughs> little carton. Everyone needs a little carton. Show you. <laughs> Kawaii does. <laughs> what does that mean? It's cute. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just... You know what? The soy and the wasabi still bring some sweetness to it, and I have to say. Plain, the, the plain chutoro was, was okay, but once Chutoy. you- Chutoro. <laughs> uh, but once you add the soy sauce and the wasabi, it's like mm, explosion of flavor in your mouth. It's just incredible. It looks so good. Mm. Mm. So good. Totally. Oh yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. What an experience. I, I have to say, I've never been to a tuna cutting show before. Uh, I've never eaten a uh, uh, sashimi that was carved minutes, minutes before we uh, we ate it. Uh, I mean, it's this is a rare experience. It's a special experience. And. Um, um, yeah. If you ever get a chance to attend a tuna show and to try the tuna immediately after, it, it's definitely worth it. And this was so affordable considering mm -hmm. uh, sushi restaurant pricing for the same uh, fish would have been double at least. And not as fresh. Yeah. Uh, you'll so. just have to stay tuned. Uh, I'm waiting for the salmon. Maruishi Select uh, in Brookline. Uh, oh, follow them on uh, Facebook. That's how I found out about this event. Well, it's a... Uh... Spicy, or there's chilies on this. Uh, any ideas what maybe is with, with, with these cashews? I'm trying to read it. I can see this word down here. It says togarashi, which is spicy chili mix. Hmm. Uh, usually a shichimi, which is a seven spice blend. Uh, so I'm a, I imagine that's what it is. Maybe on the label on the back it actually explains it. You know those little little cylindrical pepper shakers that you see at the ramen restaurants mm. that have a lot of little chili peppers and sesame seeds and stuff mixed into it? Yeah. That, that, that's what this yeah. uh, seasoning is. The coating did look familiar. Yeah. Mmm. This fools you. These are cashews, but when you bite into them, it almost tastes like those little sesame cracker things. Definitely a little bit of a sesame taste. It's a little bit of a kick. Not super spicy, but not bad. Really crispy. I know. Wow. Like yeah. a sesame cracker. So it's that that coating, that crackly coating mm -hmm. that I like. This reminds me in the Philippines they have a a peanut product that's called cracker nuts, mm -hmm. and it has the same kind of uh, texture to it. This is the same thing, but with with a uh, 
cashews, which makes it even a more premium <laughs> item. If you like cashews, you like crackers, this is your dish. Mm. I feel like I got something similar to this at the Ebisuya market. Well, Check out that video. You <laughs> want some really good ramen. Takoyaki balls. Fried octopus balls. Ooh, of goodness, bonito flakes. <laughs> <laughs> Those I like forgot about. And then remembered them like a month later and they were like still like on my, in my pantry. <laughs> they are not good stale. I was like, what is this? It's like dark yeah. and I was like in my pantry. If you want to see that video, <laughs> check out the link up there. Some all-star onigiri opening skills. Like like just like this? Yeah. Take the tape off. And then three, holding it. I'm giving up. I had it at first, but... I thought you had it for a second there. <laughs> this market today had an onigiri stand, but it looked like it was closed, so we'll have to wait for that to be open. But yeah, yeah. there was also, um, it was like a curry stand or something. Yeah. They were in the I back. have a feeling they're going to be developing kind of a food court concept mm. in that space. So there will be a few other vendors, uh, maybe mm -hmm. a sit-down restaurant. There's a cafe already there. Uh, and uh, and I think that space from the Maruichi stores, because the one across the street is more of a Love supermarket uh, and a Deli? like a home store kind of thing, because they have like stuff. yeah, they have a lot of uh, home goods and things like that. Uh, the uh, Maruichi Select store is more of a special uh, featured event store. So apparently, all of the items that there's they're um, selling this month are from uh, Hokkaido, uh, which is the uh, northern uh, island in, uh, in Japan. It's really cold. So yeah. I believe the products that they were featuring in, uh, this month are just from Hokkaido. And they have lots of other things uh, that, are, uh, that are in the store. They had rice, uh, they had uh, lots of other condiments, no, gifts, different kinds of things. So. Uh, certainly a great place if you're looking for Christmas shopping ideas, head over to Maruichi Select. But definitely watch their calendar. You don't want to miss this event. If you have any remote interest in tuna, sushi, sashimi, soy sauce, whatever, definitely come check this out. It's super delicious. What a treat. I'm, not, I'm never going to be able to eat sashimi the same way again now. I'm spoiled with that, so <laughs> have to outdo yourselves. All right. Anything that you, any parting thoughts for you? I, yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> we'll probably see you after the holiday's over. All right. See you later. These people really knew what they were doing when they named it sashimi soy sauce. It's like they know how to make soy sauce or something, you know? <laughs> All right, well, it is good soy sauce. Your pants will enjoy it.